Hello everybody, it's me again Crazy Bag Lady, so I hope you're well. So today's video is a very exciting one, as you know I love a good giveaway and I love a good charity shop, so guess what I've got? Da -da 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 -da! I'm so excited! So this is my little charity shop giveaway, it's not funded by anybody, it's funded from me because I love charity shops so much and I saw this and I thought this makes the perfect giveaway. Sadly this is for UK residents only because the charity shop voucher won't work overseas so you can only enter if you're in England which is really sad because I know a lot of my subscribers are not in England but I will do a separate giveaway as we get towards Christmas for everybody just to keep things fair. So this is a charity shop gift card. I've checked it can be used at lots of places all over England. Um, the is a website and they've got Instagram as well so it does tell you on there everywhere that you can spend it there is £20 on this gift card um, and I think it's valid for a couple of years so it's really really good you don't have to rush and use it straight away so it's just so exciting so this is my little guide to charity shopping so as you know I love charity shops I've been going in charity shops for a very very long time probably since I was about 17 I'm now 44 so that's quite a long time but quite a lot of experience with charity shops they've obviously become a lot more trendy just lately you know a lot of young people are getting into them and when I was younger, it wasn't cool to go into our shops. If you went into our shops, people used to look down their nose at you that you were a bit scruffy. But it's really funny now because as the times have gone on, it's now really trendy to go into our shops. You know, retro, vintage, everybody loves it. It's amazing. So if you haven't been in a charity shop before, go and have a look. So here's my little guide to charity shopping. So get a coffee, get yourself comfy and let's have a listen. Right, so my number one sort of tips are look at everything so don't just go because a lot of chair shops they have size rails or they have color coordination sections so don't just go to your own size flick through everything so i start at the size eights and i go right through to the size 20s because you might find that a size 8 will fit you because it's really stretchy or you might find that a size 20 will fit you because it's a bigger sort of oversized fit it's really really good so look at everything set out a couple of hours don't just rush in walk in and look around and go there's nothing in here for me rummage that is the number one tip rummage 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 so have a damn good rummage it's really good for you while you're in there you won't be thinking about anything else i promise it totally de-stresses you don't go with an agenda don't go with a plan that you're going to look for like a red jumper in a size 12 because you probably won't find one you just got to go with an open mind so sometimes i've bought the most beautiful like sparkly dress and I've got nowhere to go, but I save it. So you know that if you do get invited somewhere, you've already got the ultimate dress. Um, again, look in the men's section. Sometimes a big oversized sweater can look amazing, even if it's come out of the men's section. I've seen some younger vloggers now wearing men's suits, um, you know, pulling the trousers really tight and stuff and the big oversized blazers, and they look really, really cool. And if you can, try some stuff on, some stuff that you wouldn't normally buy. I think that's also really, really interesting. And travel a little bit. Don't just go to charity shops in the big towns. Look for ones that are like little villages. So quite often you'll find little villages will maybe have one or two independent little charity shops. And sometimes you get more of a bargain there than you do at the ones in the towns. The one in the towns are very sort of picked over, so a lot of people have been in them and they get checked through everything before people get to look at the stuff. So although they're still really, really good and you can get some really good high street stuff, if you want a real bargain, go to the individual ones, go to the ones on the outskirts of the towns. I love going to little village charity shops, they're my favorite. The characters that work in them are adorable, so you've got some adorable little ladies, you know, there's just such characters in charity shops. I love them so much. People are so friendly. It's so nice. Look at all the bric-a-brac. Again, you know, open your eyes. Really, really look if something looks a bit... But imagine it with something else, like with a nice dried flowers in a special little vase. Or It's amazing what you can find. Honestly, you're going to love it so much. So I'm so excited for all of you if you've not been in them before. Or if you have and you're a dedicated charity shopper like me, you'll know that they're amazing. If you can try stuff on, do. I know since covid a lot of charity shops, they don't have an open their changing rooms back up, which is really 
annoying that really is a bugbear of mine but a lot of them do give you money back so keep your receipts um if you can i still try stuff on if it's a jacket or something i still try it on in there anyway they've generally got a mirror there's not many that don't have a mirror although some don't even have a mirror <laughs> it can be a bit frustrating um i'm just trying to think what else you need to look out for as well oh and check the price of stuff because sometimes they can overcharge so sometimes if they think something's designer it might not be so something might be 10 pound when it's only worth five so resist unless it's something you really really love try and resist because sometimes they can be a little bit expensive um so rummage 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 so as you can see it's great to flick through all the rails check the make the price and move on to the next one just thought I'd add this little clip to show you what it's like and how you can just get a good feel for stuff. I always check what the make is of the thing that I'm looking at, what it's made of, if it's got any wool in it, and obviously the size of it. I just love coats so much. And then try stuff on. So there's no changing room. So I just tried it on in the middle of the shop. So also, don't forget to donate back to them. So if you're bored of some stuff, have a clear out. Give some stuff back to them as well. Check out the jewellery sections because, again, a lot of the costume jewellery can be really, really good. They're just absolutely brilliant. I love them so much. So anyway, five minutes of me waffling. So back to my little giveaway. So basically, all you need to do is comment in the section down below what's the best thing you've bought from a charity shop. If you haven't been in one, what would you like to find in one? Obviously, check out the handbags in there as well. Sometimes you can find a really good handbag for a very good price. Um, so all you need to do is comment down below what's your favourite thing in the charity shops. And if you want an extra entry, so I'm going to be really old-fashioned with this giveaway. So everybody that enters, I'm going to write their name down individually and to put them in a hat. And then we're just going to pick one winner out of the hat. So if you want your name to go in twice, you can either email me a picture of something you've bought from the charity shop which i'll show in some of my vlogs i thought it'd be fun in fact no what i'll do um if you want to email me a picture of something you've bought from the charity shop that you love or you can send me a photo on instagram as well so if you send me a photo on instagram or if you send me a photo via email of something you've bought from the charity shop that you love you can show me your outfit i'd love to see what you've got on um then you get an extra entry so your name will go in the hat twice and you win this. So you win £20 with this voucher to spend at any charity shop that accepts these vouchers. I'm so excited for somebody to win this because it's a great prize and you'll get an awful lot of stuff for £20. It's so good. Um, so that's all you need to do. So comment and if you want an extra entry, send me an email or an Instagram message or you can tag me on Instagram as well in your favourite outfit. And then when I do the actual giveaway winner, the video, when I pick the winner, I'll show everybody's clips in my video, which will be really, really interesting. So please, please send me some emails or Instagram messages or tag me on Instagram um, because I'd love to see other people's charity shop stuff. I know a lot of people are going in them now and a lot of people love them. And let's share the charity shop love. So I hope you've enjoyed this little giveaway and good luck to everybody. So get commenting down below and what's your best tips you know tell us all in the section down below that spread some secondhand love can't be a bit of pre-owned love <laughs> so if you do enjoy charity shopping as i often do then please subscribe to my channel you don't have to be subscribed to me for this giveaway because who likes rules you know life's too short in tip for rules so you don't have to be subscribed to me um but if you would like to, then please do. Um, my Instagram is down below, which is Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got Instagram if you love cute little dogs, which is three fluffles. My website is down below and my little Avon shop is also down below. If you can tempt you to a little bit of Avon makeup. So it is. We'll look forward to the giveaway video. I'll let this run probably for about a month. So you've got a month to tag me in stuff. Um, let me know what you've bought or send me an email. My email address is down below. It's Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady at gmail.com. So send me all your photos, I'd love to see it. And if you haven't bought anything yet and you just want your name to be in the hat once, just comment in the section down below. I hope that all made sense. So I love you and leave you. I'll see you very soon. Good luck, everybody. Bye.